is up guys it's so bash welcome back we have got some big news all right we've got some more updates and news for you about this new hero yi sun shin now i'm only going to cover this one ability in this video because this thing has a lot to it now we saw the gameplay earlier that they released did a video that we talked about that a little bit in that gameplay we saw something covering the base of your shelter right there at the very beginning not your shelter but your your actual base what you're protecting to keep people from killing now this is actually part of yi's passive ability that lets him be able to help protect the base now what his passive actually does is quite a few things for one all right obviously he's got two different weapons so what his passive does is he chooses his longbow or his glaive to attack according to the distance between him and the target so depending on if he's close to you or if he's away from you he's going to either shoot you with that crossbow or he's going to stab you or cut you up with that glaive so that's pretty cool that's pretty unique for a character like this uh, we've never seen a passive like this on a character yet so but that's only one part of it guys all right now when using the skills or glaive to attack it will oppose a bleeding effect on an enemy injuring them dealing true damage to moving enemies and slowing them down so if they move it's going to do more damage to them and it slows them down so if they do move it doesn't really they don't get away very fast so in a sense if they stood still they would have a better chance of surviving maybe but they probably get killed but that's really unique because that's true damage that's coming from a passive so that's really awesome as well now to what i was talking to to begin with about the little turtle thing over the base right there uh what that is is this is part of the passive skill as well it has a naval fleet that basically is summoned to the allied base and it increases uh the base hit points by 100 so it's basically an extra shield for your base to help protect it i'm not sure how long the cooldown on this will be i don't have any information on that but we do have this information right here as you can see the turtle is completely covering the base right here and you can't see any of it now for the last bit you're probably thinking what else could they add into this passive this seems pretty crazy already this is only one ability and it's not an active it's it's just it's happening all the time without this guy even having to do anything so the last part of this passive is the hero can board the turtle ship beside the base periodically and get buffs all right so we did see a clip right here where the turtle ship you're actually riding it and it goes off one of his other abilities it looks like and it goes out from under him so it looks like you can board this thing when you're beside this base and uh you can get buffs from it too i'm not sure what type of buffs or what it's gonna be at all but hey this is a lot of information just for one skill it's gonna be pretty crazy once we get some more in-depth information on this but i just wanted to share this with you guys today because this is going to be important in choosing you know if you want to buy this guy or not i mean this is only the passive skill He's got three other abilities that I haven't even gotten into yet. And we will get into those in the next video, guys. I don't want to have this too long. So we're going to cut it short right here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe and leave a like on this video. It does help us out here. And as always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.